Konnichiwa and good morning everybody. Welcome to the basic Japanese language class for beginners. We have been doing a lot of sounds here. We have been, we have been doing katakana, hiragana, kanji characters in these previous classes with a lot of new words and lot of sound practice, lot of word practice. I hope that now you feel more comfortable and you are able to pronounce the words properly. You can make sentences on your own. You can ask a few things like you can ask name, you can ask age, you can ask about your uh, about someone's specialization. So I am sure you are a little more confident and comfortable than you were in the beginning. Well, as you know, before before actually starting the class, we do the revision of the previous class or I should say the revision of your uh, assignments. We once go through the assignments. So, before I actually start, we will again go through what assignments I had given you. They were simple assignments this time, not very difficult. All you had to do was tell the price, which is what we did last time in our lesson. So, the picture is here in front of you the names of the objects you know. There are some objects which you do not know probably and which I will tell you right now, but first we will practice our price. So, over here you could also repeat after me please. Hyaku Nijuen. Kyu Hyaku Hachijuen. Megane wa kyuhyaku hachijuen. Budo, budo wa sambyaku gojuen. Kabin, kabin wa kyuhyaku rokujuen. Kutsu, kutsu wa sen nanahyaku hachijuen. Purin, purin wa hyaku yonjuen. The next one is shatsu. Shatsu wa kyuhyakuen. And the last one is sushi. Sushi is a Japanese delicacy and it is actually raw seafood on rice balls. It is very tasty, you should try it sometime. Sushi wa ropyakuen. So, I hope you did it like this at home loudly. Now, we go on to doing the next one as well. Next one also is the same picture, the only difference is that you have everything written in kanji characters. So, well, let us see what the first one is. Hyaku niju en. Hyaku niju en. So, please write these in kanji and then practice. This is a writing practice exercise. So, please do it. Megane kyu hyaku hachiju en. Well, tell me what it is. Budo is grapes, sambyaku gojuen. Then we have kabin which is a vase and you can see it is written kyuhyaku rokujuen. Then we have sandals, sandaru wa sen nanahyaku hachiju en, sen nanahyaku hachiju then we have hyaku yonju en. And then we have shirts, shirts wa kyu hyaku en. And the last one for you is sushi wa rop pyaku en. So you will notice pyaku, hyaku, pyaku are used like this, just get used to it.
Well, now in our previous classes, we have done how to ask name, we have done how to ask about specialization, we have also studied how to ask age. So, today something new for you. After this, probably when you talk to someone, you would also want to tell about your hobbies. So, well, we have Shumi over here. Shumi is hobby. Shumi in Japanese means hobby. So, I will read the conversation for you. The basic structure is similar just by introducing this word shumi after anatano. You can easily ask someone their hobby, what they like doing. So, well, it is right here. Anata no shumi wa nan desu ka? Watashi no shumi wa ongaku desu. Ongaku is music. Watashi no shumi wa Tennis this. Tennis. Watashi no shumi wa yamanobori des. Mountaineering. Watashi no shumi wa piano des. Piano, of course, you all know. Watashi no shumi wa cycling des. Watashi no shumi wa dokusho des. Dokusho is reading. Watashi no shumi wa shashin des. Shashin is photography. Watashi no shumi wa suie desu. Suie is swimming. So, well, you could replace ongaku with any of these over here and you could be telling about what you like doing, what your hobby is. It is all given in hiragana and katakana over here. So, you could please study your hiragana also like this. Try to remember the hiragana characters as well. Now, also what you can do over here, very simple, we did anata no shumi wa ongaku desu. Okay? We replaced ongaku with lot of other things like yamanobori. and a lot of other things. In a similar manner, you can also replace anatano over here as you have done earlier with okasan, tomodachi, sensei, watashi. So, any of these and more, whatever vocabulary you remember, you can always replace anata with any of these and you can add no later on meaning watashi no mine okasans tomodachis senseis and mine so all of it you can ask and answer you can see over here anata no shumi wa nan desu ka watashi no shumi wa ongaku desu same sentence but over here watashi can be replaced with tomodachi rao san ok san Shujin and Tanaka sensei or any anybody else you want to talk about. Is that all right? Let us go on to doing the vocabulary for shumi. Tennis as you can see is tennis. Yamanobori. Piano. Cycling, Dokusho, Shashin, Suie. So, these we did in our previous slide over here. Now, there is new vocabulary for you Ryoko. Ryoko is traveling. Ega, Ega is pictures, movies and dorama. Dorama is of course an English word, drama which of course you know what it is. So, you could use any of these in place of shumi, in place of shumi over here. You can tell what your shumi is. Now, 
we have been practicing numbers in our previous lessons. A certain group in each class. So, today we will do this last group from 90 till 100. You could repeat after me please. This is just for pronunciation and we need to do the numbers really well because we need them for a lot of things later on. Lot of things you can do with numbers. You have to tell time, you have to buy things, you have to go so many miles, you have to do a lot of things, count a lot of things. So, numbers are really, really essential. We have Kyuju Ichi, Kyuju Ni, Kyuju San, Kyuju Yon or Kyuju Shi, Kyuju Go. Kyuju Roku, Kyuju Nana or Kyuju Shichi, Kyuju Hachi, Kyuju Kyu or Ku and then for 100 it is different it is Hyaku. Please remember 100 is pronounced as Hyaku, Hyaku, a short sound Hya, Hyaku. Okay? So, with this we finish your numbers till 100. I hope you will do it at home and memorize them as fast as you can. So, now today we will do something new. What time is it now? Imananji desu ka? So, now you, you know this word nan, you know this and you know ka over here. There are two new words ima and ji. We will do those very soon, but before that I want you to listen to this dialogue carefully and let me see how much you actually understand and whatever is left we will of course cover it right here and right now. Suimasen. Well, how much did you understand now from the dialogue? I will read it out to you once and then I will explain. This is a dialogue between two people. Karuna san and Arun san. A small dialogue, short conversation over here. Sumimasen, ima nanji desu ka? Shichiji desu. Gakko wa nanji kara desu ka? Hachiji kara desu. Nanji made desu ka? Gogo sanji made desu. Arigato gozaimasu. Dou itashimashite. So, I am sure 50 percent is understood from here. Whatever is left, of course, you can read over here one. The English translation is given and then you also have it written here in Japanese in the script. You can see from here that some of it is in hiragana, some kanjis are there for you and well, we do not have any katakana today, but generally katakana is also there in the conversation if you have a foreign word. In Japanese, all the three scripts are used simultaneously and you cannot write Japanese only in one script. Well, we go back to our conversation here, our dialogue here. Now, I will explain. Sumimasen, excuse me. Ima, ima means now, right now at this point. Ima, nanji desu ka? Nan, of course, you know, and after nan, if you put this counter g, this word g, it denotes time, it shows time. It means o'clock is equivalent to o'clock in English. 
すみません、今何時ですか ?What time is it now? 七時です。七時、of course you have done. So, number seven, 七時です。So, like this, with each number, 一時、二時、三時、四時、五時、一時、二時、三時、四時、五時。So you will notice over here that so far we have done numbers as 一、二、三、四、五、六。So over here You will see that yon, yon is a little different. It is not yon, it is yoji des. Yoji des. So, for time, please remember it is yo and not yon. Now, we have shichiji des. Gakko wa nanji kara des ka? Hachiji kara des. 何時までですか午後3時までです。Now, a new word for you over here. 午後。午後 and 午前。So, 午後 means evening or pm. And 午前 means morning or am. And then, of course, the two phrases. ありがとうございます。And どういたしまして。ありがとう、of course, you know, is thank you very much. And どういたしまして is mention not. The pleasure is entirely mine. The pleasure is mine. And it's all right. So either of, either of those you could use. It could mean either of those depending on whom you are talking to. If you are talking to your teacher, then it has to be very, very polite. Meaning, the pleasure is entirely mine. And if it is just a casual, maybe asking time on the road, then do it ashimashite means, oh, it's all right. It doesn't matter. It's okay. As I told you, ima means now, which corresponds to now at present at the moment in English, as you can see on your screen over here. Then, As I told you, G is the counter for time. G means o'clock in English. And if you add nan before G, as in nanji desu ka, it is similar in meaning to what time it is. May I know the time? Rokuji desu. As you can see, goji desu, five o'clock. Now, there is a small watch for you over here. You can practice your time. Ichi, ni, san, yo, go, roku, shichi, hachi, kyu, ju, ju, ichi, and ju, ni. So, now you can please repeat after me. Ichi, ji, ni, ji. 3時4時5時6時7時8時9時10時十一時、十二時。Now you will notice that yon and shichi are two different readings over here for yon and nana. So please remember that 
Yon, for and Nana. Is Yoji and Shichi Ji and not Shiji or Nanaji. Please, this is not to be used for time. Yo and Shichi is to be used for time. So, well, we can practice hours of the day now. Sumimasen, ima nanji desu ka? A simple question you can ask and you can also answer hachiji desu. So, please repeat after me. Over here, we can practice the numbers once again. Ichiji desu. And also, we have the kanji for what is written in Roman. Ichiji desu. Niji desu. Sanji desu, Yoji desu, Goji desu, Rokuji desu, Shichiji desu, Hachiji desu, Kuji desu, Juji desu, Juichiji desu, Juniji desu. Please pronounce these two yo and shichi as is written over here and not yon or shi or nana. Please remember that for time it is yo and shichi. Now, once you know what time it is, you can say time, you can also tell the time of a place. All you need to do over here is Sumimasen, Tokyo wa ima nanji desu ka? You can put the name of the place as is given over here. Tokyo wa ima nanji desu ka? So, before ima nanji desu ka, you can put the name of the place and you can ask the time of that place. And you could answer Tokyo wa ima rokuji desu or shichiji desu or hachiji desu, whatever time you want to say. Now, what you can do over here? So far, we have been doing with time. Now, the same question can be used for place and instead of place, instead of Tokyo that we did just now, you can use Delhi, which is Delhi, Pari, which is Paris. Rondon, which is London, the language does not have the sound L or the letter L. So, London becomes Rondon. Beijing and Singapore. So, instead of Tokyo, whatever place you want to put, you can put and ask the time of that place or that city. Now, over here you are asking time and you said Tokyo wa ima rokuji desu. Now, there is something else that you can do over here. If you want to ask it is 6 o'clock in the morning, will 6 o'clock rokuji just suffice? No, it will not. You have to add am over there. So, what do you say for am in Japanese? Well, in Japanese am is Gozen and PM is Gogo. -go. Now, what do you do with that? Unlike English, Gozen and Gogo -go will be written or said before time, before time that is Ima. Gogo Rokuji des. Ima gogo Rokuji des. Ima gogo Rokuji des. Ima gogo Shichiji des. Ima gozen Hachiji des. Before time, you will place 
go go and go zen go go and go zen before time rokuji shichiji hachiji this so now you can practice go zen and go go with time you could repeat after me ima go go ichiji desu ima go go niji desu ima go zen goji desu ima go zen rokuji desu ima go zen kuji desu ima go zen juji desu so as you know the numbers you can practice go zen and go go like this now you have this map right in front of you places are listed very nicely you can please ask time for example cairo is 3 o'clock so cairo wa ima nanji desu ka london rokuji desu london wa ima rokuji desu ka as as we did places with time you could easily look at this look at the name of the place and ask time or you could also say rondon wa ima nanji desu ka whichever way you want to ask and practice time then we have beijing gozen goji you can ask your partner new york gogo hachi ji tokyo gogo shichi ji please please uh, notice it is not tokyo in japanese it is tokyo the sound of t and not t gogo yoji new delhi Singapore gogo ichi ji Bangkok gozen 11 ji Sydney gozen 8 ji so you have all the time over here you have the place names over here and you can practice this simple conversation that we did in the previous slide with your partner and practice time with gogo and gozen as you can see on the board as well Now practice one more thing with your partner very simple please see Meera san and Rao san are there this is also a simple exercise interesting exercise you know the time of tokyo for sure or wherever you are staying for sure so you can you can put the name of that place and ask time for example it is tokyo over here so tokyo wa ima gozen kuji desu Lahor wa ima nanji desu ka or London wa ima nanji desu ka or New York wa ima nanji desu ka Paris wa ima nanji desu ka you can ask your friend so now simple expression over here so this ne in case you do not know the time of the place the person is asking well so this ne could give you some time to think about what the time could be what the time difference is and then you could reply so this so this ne so this ne this expression one meaning of this expression is well you are asking for some time you need some time to think lahor wa ima gogo ichi ji this so a simple answer can be given in this manner you have tokyo indo Indo Rondon Rondon Dhaka over here you can practice with your friend with gogo gozen and gogo again now in our conversation we had kara and made which i explained very briefly kara means from and made means till as you can see over here 
this can be used very nicely with time and you could ask about what time does your does your office begin, what time does it end, what time does the school start, what time does it finish, what time you have your lunch break, for how long is your lunch break. So, you could answer from this time till this time. So, kara and made as you can see on your screens. Now, you can practice also kara and made, kara and kara and made, two particles from and to or until until. So, for with time ichiji kara niji made. So, you will see that kara and made both will follow time, both will come will be used after time. So, from 1 o'clock till 2 o'clock. You could practice like this simple use to time and then you could use kara and made as well. Now, you could also put name of something what you want to know for example, gakko, gakko, ginko or you could also use uh, kaisha, kaisha wa ichiji kara niji made this. My office is from 1 o'clock till 2 o'clock. Of course, it does not happen like this, but for practice it is all right. Gakko wa hachiji kara sanji made this or ginko wa hachiji kara hachiji kara goji made this. So, you could practice like this and tell about gakko, ginko, kaisha class from what time till what time it is. You could practice this with your partner over here, kara and made, kaigi, kaigi is meeting, kaigi wa nanji kara, nanji made desu ka. So, you could answer from what time till what time. The time is given over here, you could speak out loud and tell from what time till what time. Gakko, gakko is school as I told you earlier, time is again given, kuji, yoji. So, you could ask your partner and could get an answer for it. Then we have ginko as I did just now on the board, ginko wa kuji kara goji made this. So, you could practice and with practice you will become perfect. Over here also there is practice rao san no krasu wa nanji kara nanji made desu ka, kuji kara juichi ji made desu. So, again kaisha in kanji also it is given over here kanji characters are given for time kuji kara goji made. Gakko wa hachiji kara niji made, hachiji niji. Kaigi, sanji, yoji, sanji, yoji. So, you could ask and get an answer. Ginko, we did ginko earlier also, hachiji, rokuji, hachiji, rokuji. So, you could practice this with your partner in pairs. Now, also we have been talking about offices of schools of class of meetings. You could also tell time for trains, for planes, for bus. You could also talk about uh, um, programs, about presentations. So, in a similar manner you could ask hikoki wa nanji desu ka meaning what time is the 
plane? What time is the train? What time is the departure? What time is your presentation? What time is the bangumi on TV? So, hikoki wa nanji desu ka? Kuji desu. Densha. And again, you have it in kanji characters. Of course, you do not have to worry about the characters so much. These characters are placed over here just for you to get used to the kanjis. Just get the visual, the visual is always very strong, get used to it and when we actually do the character in class, you will be familiar and it will not come as a surprise. Shupatsu, Shupatsu, Hapyo, Hapyo, Bangumi, Bangumi, Bangumi means program. Now, replace the underlined words with the words given below. There is a lot of practice for you today because this is new and you have to be comfortable with the numbers with time, simple conversation, gakko wa nanji kara desu ka, which we have been doing in this lesson so far, gakko wa shichiji kara desu. So, now what you have to do is kaisha, you have to tell time. Departo, again you have to tell time. Nihongo class, again time. Then you have Juku, which is coaching class and piano recital. So, you have the time listed over here, you can ask your partner and practice like this. Now, we have done numbers till 100, numbers are important, why because you will be asking price, you will be using counters, lot of things are to be done with numbers. So, we also have to do multiples of 1000. We have done 100, multiples of 100 in our last chapter, we will do multiples of 1000. So, 1000 is sen, you could repeat after me, sen or issen, issen is also used sometimes for 1000, nisen, sanzen. So, please Notice it is not sen, it is zen, san zen, san zen. Yon sen, go sen, rok sen. Please you could repeat after me, rok sen, nana sen. Hasen. And now you will see 8000 is a short sound Hasen. Kyusen. And it is not Jusen, but it is Ichi Man. So the counter for 10,000 is Man. And Ichi is for 1. Ichi Man means 10,000. Ichi man. Ni man. To 10,000. So, ni man. So, that is how you will practice your numbers please from 1000 till 10,000. Now, the next one. Useful expressions in class we have been doing so far. Today, we had two expressions arigato and do itashimashite. I explained those two to you earlier also. Now, you will see how it is done. We have these two people A san and B san and they are walking on the road and probably A san drops something on the road and B san very nicely, gallantly he picks it up 
and gives it to A san. So, what does A san have to say after that? Arigato gozaimasu. And what does B san say after that? B san says, Dou itashimashite. Dou itashimashite means it's all right or the pleasure is mine or mention not. Arigato, of course, you know means thank you. So, these are two nice uh, expressions which you should remember, which you can use whenever you are in Japan or you are practicing with Japanese people. Do itashimashite means the pleasure is mine or as I told you earlier, mention not. Now, we have kanji characters. I have been talking a lot about kanji and how it is made, how useful it is in the language, why it is essential in the language. So, now you have to learn these characters. We have, we will be doing characters very slowly, very, very slowly and all the, all the words that we have done in the lesson, we will try to do those characters. Now, earlier I had told you about yama, yama. So, the character for yama is like this. It is a three stroke character, three stroke character, but how do you think it has come into being? Well, when you, when you think of mountains, that is how you would draw mountains. Now, this is the peak and this is the base over here. So, like this, it comes like this. This is how a mountain is made in Japanese, in actually Chinese, because these characters are all borrowed from China. These are not original Japanese characters. So, well, once again for you, one, two, and three. As I told you, always the kanji character will end over here. Once again, one, two, and three. Yama. Yama. So, anytime you look at this character now, I am sure you will all understand that it has something to do with mountain. There are two readings for this character, Yama and San. The words you could remember as Yamada San, Yamada San and Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji is Fuji San. It is not Fuji Yama, it is Fuji San. Please remember that. Now we have Hon, Hon, Hon. This character you have done in Nihon. Ni Nihon. Nihon is Japan. So, if you remember, we did this with, we did this with Nichi, which we did last time. Nichi means day and Hon over here means origin, origin or book, origin or book. So, now you can very easily understand what Nihon means. This deals with sun, this deals with origin. So, thus Jap Japan is called the land of the rising sun or actually land where the sun rises first. So, now I will draw it for you. Hon 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Once again, one, two, three, four, and five. Ni hon, ni hon. This is a five stroke character. One, two, three, four, and five. Please do not make it like this. Or, or like this. This is not how it is to be made. 
it is always to be made like this 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. That is the stroke order. So, please remember the stroke order as well. Now, we have one more character for you. This character is what we have been doing in this lesson. This is G meaning time. Now, time because sun decides the time. So, definitely we have this character over here. Then we have this over here. Now, this means sun you can you have done already. This character means temple. This means temple also. This also means temple and it is made with the help of two thoughts, the foot and the hand. And what would the priests be doing the whole day or depending on time what they would be doing with their hands and feet is why this character has been put for temple. So, when you join these two, these are not this, this is a this is a single character. So, when you join these two, it becomes G, which is time, it signifies or denotes time. So, Ichi G, Ni G, that is how it is to be written. I will do the stroke order once again slowly for you. One, two, three, and four, and then one, two. Do you remember this character? This is Jew, ten, like this, and like this, G. Once again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So, it is a 10 stroke character, ten, 10 stroke character meaning G, it is a combination of Nichi and temple. Now, this character please do not mistake it with Dai, which we did earlier in our previous chapters. Dai means big, this means origin or book and it is very different, but it looks similar as is given over here. Now, there are some words, common words with these characters. Yamamoto is a name, Fujisan and not Fujiyama. Yamanobori, this word we did in our chapter earlier is mountaineering as you can see. Then with Hon, we have Honjitsu means today or this day. Hondana means bookshelf. Hommono means the actual thing, the genuine article. Jikan means hour or time and Jidai means era or age. So, you could also add this to your vocabulary now, some new words with kanji characters. Of course, at the moment you do not need to remember all the kanji characters listed here on your screen, only the ones in purple you need to concentrate on. There is vocabulary for you, we have done a lot of new words, all this vocabulary you can practice at home. I will just give you the pronunciation once. Kaisha, you can repeat after me please. Kaisha, Gakko, Yubin Kyoku, Byoin, Byoin. There is a difference in pronunciation. 
B O in and B O in. B O in is hospital and B O in is a beauty salon. Mise Supa Departo Taishikan Toshokan Now it is your time to be working. Work in pairs and practice time over here. You can see on the watch it is very clearly given. So, I want you to practice with your partner at home and tell time over here. Then we have practice in pairs using kara and made and ask your partner about the time of various classes in school. So, you can ask what the schedule is for that day. And then of course, you have these very sweet looking hands over here and they are telling time. You can count the fingers one and also you can tell time from here. Just count the fingers and add G after that and you will get time. So, practice with your partner. I think it is enough for today. You have done a lot of things, done a lot of practice, learnt a lot of new words and we will end our class over here. Will not trouble you anymore. So, mina san kore de owarimasu. Ashita mata aimashou. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you.